What's going on guys? It's Monday and like I promised you yesterday when I got home from grocery shopping, I'm going to do a grocery run through. I picked up a bunch of stuff, went to Sprouts, Trader Joe's, Target for some other stuff like toiletries and whatnot, and then a supplement store to pick up probably what will be a week and a half worth of groceries. The supplements will last longer obviously, but yeah, let's dive into it. Now, before we do that though, outfit of the day, white NMDs, Lululemon joggers. Greg Cuts Elongated T-Shirt, courtesy of my boy Stephen Braley. If you haven't checked out his clothing, cutsclothing.com. Guys, shirts, they fit amazing. I'm serious, try them out, they're amazing. All right, let's jump into this. I pulled everything out of the fridge and the pantry just so I could film this for you guys. I'm just going to hold the camera the whole time and kind of talk through it, not going into super, a lot of detail, but I don't really have an order to this, but let's just get through it. Power Greens. This is from Sprouts. It's shard, kale, spinach. You all need your micronutrients. We talk about mac macros so much, but micros. I usually put this just as salads when I'm like hungry before dinner and I don't want to eat a lot. Mustard and coconut aminos with like some chopped up onion and bell pepper. Hold you over for a little bit, gets food in your mouth if you want to eat something. Also good in smoothies. We know that. Quick Oats Oatmeal. This is from Sprouts. They have a bulk container section, which is just like you can scoop big scoopers of pretty much anything you want. Super cheap oatmeal. It's a staple for the bulking diet. Get it. Light shredded mozzarella cheese. Now normally I'm not a big cheese person just because it's just unnecessary calories, but the macros on this are amazing and I do half a serving. So normally... Wow, you gotta be kidding me. Just screw me up. All right, we're gonna keep going. Macros on this are amazing. So let's see, three grams of fat, zero carbs, five protein in one serving. I do half a serving and it's plenty enough just to put in your eggs for a little taste or whatever else you're eating. I love it. Pack of the eggs, nothing to see there. Applewood smoked ham from Trader Joe's. This is also all really good macros. I put this in my eggs every morning. Butternut squash. Now you guys might be looking like, damn, this is a lot of healthy stuff. I eat healthy foods. Like I'm not max tuning. He goes out and eats a lot because he likes it and nothing against that. But the food you put into your body, your body's a temple, you know, treat it that way. But, I mean, if it's a Saturday and I want to go out with my boys and maybe have a slice of pizza or do this, I'll do that. Like, I'm not against eating and doing those things, but within reason, you know. Butternut squash, this is absolutely delicious. I cook it up with my tilapia. All I do is put it on a pan, put the oven at 425, spray this with a little coconut spray, season it how I want it, put it in there, you're done. It comes out, it's all like mushy and just delicious. Mushy's kind of a bad word. <laughs> It's, uh, it's, you know, it's just got a delicious texture to it. It's not hard, and the macros and carb ratio on that, it, it's amazing. Probably only in that whole bag, look how much food this is. 33 or so grams of carbs, 34 I think. Yeah. So if you're like on a low carb diet and you need a lot of food and volume to fill you up and use a carb as starch as your base, use butternut squash. Can't recommend it enough. Behind that, sweet potatoes. Everyone's seen those. Picked up some bananas, bell peppers, onions, and an avocado. I always chop up the bell peppers and onions and put them in a little Tupperware because when I make my eggs, you don't want them plain. Sometimes it gets a little boring. You need some texture in there. Throw it in the frying pan before you start it up. Throw the eggs in. Boom. Good to go. Next up, Greek yogurt. This is my first time getting plain Greek yogurt. Usually I get a fruit flavored one, but recently I've been paying a lot more attention to like sugar content. And when I say paying attention, just like something I've been thinking about, like maybe I should consider that, you know, for insulin spikes and how I want to treat my diet. And if you look at Greek yogurt with fruit in it, it has a shit ton of sugar. It's fruit sugar, but it's still sugar. So I want to try to avoid all that where I can, which we'll actually talk about in a minute, because I have other delicious things in here that are high in sugar, but yeah, anyways. So there's only five grams of sugar in here, but there's 15 protein, zero fat, and I'm just gonna take the powdered peanut butter I have over there, which I'll talk about in a sec, and mix it in with that. Or maybe take some like protein and put it in there as well and just mix it around. It's gonna taste amazing, up your protein content, decreases the amount of fruit sugars you're getting in, win-win. All right, next up, lentils. This is another really good carb source, you guys. Also, because it has a really, it's really high in protein, so they're easy to eat. These are from Trader Joe's. They're already cooked, so you can see them in there. I do have some dry ones in the pantry, but I didn't get those this time around. Zero fat, 20 grams of carbs, nine protein. Those are some really good macros. Microwavable asparagus from Trader Joe's. This is a really good food. I probably stick this up into three different meals after it's microwaved. Giant thing of blueberries because you can never have enough of those. Now, let's see. This is another thing of Greek yogurt, and I don't know if I've mentioned this on the channel. Actually, I think I did when I was eating Chipotle, but I use that in replacement of sour cream. 
So sometimes if I'm not using the mozzarella cheese that I mentioned earlier, I'll use this in my eggs and it's amazing. I'll put that with my ground beef and rice just to give it a little, if your food's dry and you need some, just some moisture in there without adding like a lot of hot sauce, try that. It will blow you away and you'll thank me later because <laughs> it makes your meal so much easier to eat, especially when you're eating a lot of rice, a lot of chicken, a lot of things that aren't necessarily the most exciting flavor, flavor profiles when you're eating for bodybuilding. Next up, we're gonna get into some good stuff now. These I just, I saw them at Target and I had to get them. I've never really been on the uh, rice cake hype, but I saw these and I was like, you know what, screw it. So these are salted caramel. I went a little adventurous with them and I tried two the other night. They're absolutely amazing. So this might have to become something that like kicks my sweet tooth in the evening instead of like having a piece of dark chocolate or whatever, which I stopped buying by the way. So these are really good. And then one, one other splurge, one other splurge, you can see I've already eaten almost all six of them. English muffins, right? Not just any English muffins. What does that say right there? S'mores. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? I saw that in the store and I was just like, don't do it, Ethan. Walked around, looked for the bubble gum because I wanted some more Orbit bubble gum. And then I walked straight back to the aisle, stood in there and I was like, you're getting it. So I treated myself, got one of those. Within reason, guys, within moderation. <sighs> That's one thing I like to do when I go into grocery stores, so it's probably not the best thing, is I go in there and I stand in the bread aisle and I just smell it. Because if you haven't like really been eating lots of breads or good carbs for a while, and you get a whiff of like the muffins and the bagels and the pastries, you're just like, you're in heaven. You're like, oh my gosh, like, I wish I could eat these year round. All right, enough of me mindlessly indulging on carbs that I can't eat, or I can, but I would choose not to. Egg whites, this is what I supplement with my eggs. I typically have one regular egg in the morning mixed with like two or three servings of this, or it'll be two eggs, but yeah, love these. Sometimes I get the ones about new laid ready egg. They're already yellow, but these are a different kind. Hot sauce. This is from Sprouts. I try and switch it up every single time. This one's Gringo Bandito. Pretty good. I recommend it. You don't go through it super quickly, but it's, it's delicious. All right, I think that's it for the food. So I did stop by Nutritional Warehouse, as I told you, and they always hook me up with samples, which actually I'm going to talk about in a minute. Let's move on to the other stuff. So here's the... Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. And I forgot to mention, you were like, where's all the protein? I, they were out of the 96.4 ground beef, so I have to get that later tonight. I have tilapia in the freezer, which I forgot to bring out. And then I also have medium cooked shrimp. You know what? I get medium cooked shrimp that I can sometimes throw in my eggs in the morning. This is from Trader Joe's. Really good macros, super low in fat, if any. And they taste delicious. These are two tilapia fillets. I can split them up into two separate meals, or if I'm really hungry and I need to hit my protein goal for the day, that's one meal right there. I have this. I forgot to get the freezer stuff out. Just chicken strips, which are from Trader Joe's. These are perfect to add to salads, or if we have food delivered to us at work and I need more chicken in my meal, I bring a baggie of this, one serving, and call it a day. I've got frozen, blo blah, 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 blah. frozen broccoli, which I cook up with most of my meals, usually the tilapia. And then for the smoothies I've been making recently, strawberries, frozen blueberries, which are almost gone. And that's it for what's in the freezer. But anyways, back over here. We're all over the place. This clip's going on. We're gonna keep doing it. So I've got a bunch of stuff right here and I'll talk about each one of them. Synthesix, not my first protein of choice, but it is delicious and one of the best tasting proteins out there. The reason it's not my protein of choice is because it's kind of, I treat it kind of as a dessert protein. It's got a little bit higher fat content than most. It's got a lot more carbs than most proteins. And I mean, it has 20 grams, your standard amount, but those other two factors make it a reason that I just kind of avoid it. Except if I want like a really good sweet oatmeal with when I mix in my oatmeal, put some protein in there at the end of the night, it's almost like dessert. This is what I got instead this most recent time at Nutritional Warehouse, Dimatize Elite XT Extended Release. Uh, I should have gotten just an isolate one, but I didn't realize it when I was buying it, but that's okay because it's still delicious, it's vanilla, and it's protein at the end of the day. So I've been talking about a lot about my intro workout carbs, which is both of these. This is the current one I'm having right now, and this is the one I just bought from Nutritional Warehouse. Look at that price. He's like, do we have a special on this? You need to get it. So I don't know. I keep reading a lot of things about whether or not like it's necessary to have the pre-workout carbohydrates or intro workout even. I felt it like my muscles liked it when I was in the gym. You know, you can, if you've been working out long enough, you can kind of tell what your body does and doesn't like before and after the gym. And I found that a nice surge of like fast acting carbohydrates really helps me. Uh, I just started kind of like, as I was talking about the sugar content, I looked at the back of both of those and the MedRx one or Metrix is 
33 grams of sugar, and I was like, holy shit. Probably should have looked at that before I bought it. The self tech one is about half that, 15 grams, which is not as bad. We'll see, I don't know. If I don't notice a huge difference, I might stop introducing that into my pre-workout ritual and just kind of go with the tried and true. If you're hungry, eat a little cup of oats beforehand, maybe with some blueberries. If not, don't worry about it and just work out. But yeah, to be continued or to be updated on that. Next up, bang. This stuff hopefully is gonna be the truth. I've only had it in the can formats. And my buddy Chad, who actually just moved to the West Coast, so you guys are gonna be seeing him in a video very soon. He asked me today, actually, he's like, what's been the best pre-workout you've had recently? And I was like, dude, honestly, the Bang Energy Drinks. And I told him, I was like, I just bought a tub of it. I've never had the powdered version, but I'm hoping it's the same. So we're gonna try that tonight when I go work out chest. Uh, when I say we, I mean me. But yeah, I'll, I'll update you on that. And then right here, I have powdered peanut butter. If you guys are peanut butter people, and you're conscious of your fats, or you're running out of your fat macros throughout the day, get that. You put two tablespoons of it dry in like a little tub or a little like container, and then one little thing of water, mix it up, it turns into peanut butter like viscosity, it's thick, and it tastes delicious. That's vanilla flavored. I've been throwing it in these Greek yogurts right here, and throwing it in my protein shakes, throwing it in my oatmeal, and it's just a little added kick of flavor that you want without adding too many macros. And it's got five grams of protein. We love that. And lastly, my dudes at Nutritional Warehouse always hook it up with samples every time I walk in there. The owner, John Rizzo, he's this old guy. You could tell he was in the bodybuilding community back in the day. I don't know, I don't know his story, his real story, but he always throws like a candy bar, not a candy bar, a Quest bar at me or a complete cookie or some beef jerky. So they always hook me up with samples. I got some of those right here. Vega Clean Protein. I like this brand. I like it because sometimes whey can upset my stomach if I don't have it for a while, but it hasn't in a while, so I haven't. But Clean Protein, this is their new product. Excited to try it. These are my vice. I think I've talked about them before, but I love these things. And to be honest, they're probably not super low in sugar. Yeah, 24 grams in this whole cookie. That's a lot. These are my latest addiction. Only one gram of sugar. The rest is probably that erythritol stuff. And then two Quest Bars. I bought these from Trader Joe's, but I got these for free. So there you have it. That's a grocery run with Ethan Frame. Pretty healthy stuff, I know. But, insert motivational yet in your face, yet clean eating, hashtag whatever quote there. Oh yeah, they also gave me one of these, which I actually had one yesterday, and it's pretty good. Celsius, healthy energy, burns body fat, vitamin enriched. There you have it. All right guys, I gotta get to the gym. My arm is dying from holding this camera up here, but I guess it's shoulder today, so to work out already. That's what I got to eat for the next week and a half, except the meat. If you guys are enjoying the content, you wanna see more of this stuff, you wanna see when I do splurge and what I do splurge on, if I wanna go like eat out, let me know. I'll film it. Let me know if you wanna see that stuff. But until then, catch you in the next video. Please like, comment, subscribe. I'm feeling good about kinda of like the content that's coming. I've got, I think I've got a good, whatever. See you in the next video.